Hey everybody, it's me, Karazina Cheetah, back with more Doki Doki Literature Club! Uh, <laughs> so... <laughs> in the last episode... Yeah! Monica kinda just went bye-bye, and I just... I had to stop. If you guys are wondering about my reactions in the last episode, keep in mind, it was... Well, last episode slash last part where everything went horribly, horribly wrong. Just keep in mind, it was like, I recorded from about 2 a.m. to around 5-ish? Shit fucked me up, dude. But anyhow. So, I'm going to click new game. And I, I am excited. It's an ordinary school day. Like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. Okay, hopefully Sayori's back. I mean, her picture was back on the main screen, but come on! I want Sayori back! <gasps> hey, Scarlottle! Well, there already is one girl. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. We used to walk to school together every day. And recently, we picked up that habit once again. Scarlottle, are you proud of me? Eh, for what? You know, for waking up on time. Well, you've been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh. But you've never even said anything about it. Even though we walk to school together every day. Well, yeah, I always thought that it was implied. It's embarrassing to say out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. Hold on. Oh, that was weird. Uh, I have a second computer over here, and the mouse pointer on the screen was, like, jiggling around on the screen without me touching it. <laughs> Anyhow. By the way, Scarlottle, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm really not... I start to say what I always do, that I'm not interested in joining any clubs, but something tells me Sayori would take more offense that, to that now. After all, how could I tell her that clubs are a waste of time when she's starting a club of her very own? Holy shit, what? Actually, yeah, I think I've decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me! Hmm, I think I'll keep it a surprise. Oh, you meanie. Be patient, you'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. But I started to realize that, in a way, I envy her. When Sayori puts her mind to something, she, she can accomplish great things. So that's why I feel I should do something special for her. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. Also, one moment. I was wondering what I was forgetting. I forgot to put the cover on the back of my chair because it has been torn to hell by cats. Anyhow. After I pack up my things, I stand up, gathering my motivation. Let's see. I recall the room number of the club I s of the club from a flyer I saw. I walk across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit being generally used for third year classes and activities. Before long, I find the room. I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Ah! Scarlotta! What are you doing here? Well, I just... Eh, I glance around the room. Huh. So you're the Scarlottle that Sayori's always talking about? Thank you for stopping by. Oh, that was too high for Yuri. Sorry. It, it's a... Yeah. It, it's a pleasure to meet you, Scarlottle. We're the Literature Club. I, I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. It's gonna think we're really strict or something. Uh, sorry, Natsuki. The tall one, whose name is apparently Yuri, seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki 
Despite her size, seems like the assertive one. Oh, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. Working? Scarlotto, don't tell me! You're... That's right! The club I've decided to join is yours, Sayori! The Literature Club. Sayori's eyes light up. No way! No way! Ah! Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! <laughs> well, if Sayori is this happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention, there's four of us now. That, that means we can officially uh, become an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say! We have to celebrate! <laughs> what an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah! After all, Natsuki decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise! <laughs> Sorry! Everyone sit down at the table, okay? H how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a red tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Wow! Natsuki lifts a foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats! Oh, the whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! Wow, those look amazing! <laughs> well, you know... Just hurry up and take one. Sayori grabs one first and I follow. It's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Like I said before, cupcake, take the bottom off, boom, it's a cupcake sandwich. Delicious. Natsuki's quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, of course it is. I'm a pro, after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. As Natsuki struggles to accept the compliment, Yuri returns to the cable tearing, care, table carrying a tea set. I am switching letters all over the place today. I'm sorry. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? D don't worry. The teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I guess. <laughs> Already trying to impress our new member, Yuri. <laughs> that, that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that... you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Scarlettle, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, um, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? <laughs> I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Atsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, how about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But, you know, I like a lot of things. Don't feel intimidated if you don't read much, okay? I'm certain we can find something that we have in common. Hey, Yuri. Huh? Well, about, you know, the first thing he said. Manga? That's right. Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. D don't just say it! For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed about it. Besides, manga is literature too, you know. So if Scarlotta wants to read some of my manga, then don't try to stop her or anything. Suki, I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could also be nice for us to diversify ourselves a little. You can take this opportunity to try something new as well. 
Wouldn't you agree, Scarlatl? M maybe Sensing the tension, Samurai jumps in. Maybe we can all try something new. I think it could be fun. And we'll all get to know each other a little bit better, too. I mean, that's the kind of thing literature clubs do, right? <laughs> I, I don't disagree or anything. Yeah, you're right as usual, President. <laughs> Guess that means I should try picking up a novel or something, huh? Well, that would make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. Then, as for Yuri... Eh? I, I have to read manga? Jeez, you were the one who suggested we diversify. You should be a little more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I, I didn't realize. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself. I'm sorry for disrespecting your interest, Natsuki. If... If you're not into it, then I'm sure it's a worthy... Oh, wait. If, if you're into it, then I'm sure it's a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No. I've, I've realized my error. So, if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I mean, it, it makes me happy that you do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something that you'll really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. Just... just you? <sighs> Would you like to come along with me? Um... If you don't mind... Not at all. I always go alone, so... Yeah, me too! This is so cute! Sayori... Shut up. I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yes, I look forward to it. Natsuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. <laughs> I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along. Isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Scarlatl. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along a little better with you around, Sayori. Aw, Scarlatl! Don't say something like that, it's embarrassing! Eh, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club, but I think you're pulling it off just fine. We're gonna make it the best club ever! Now that you joined, every day is gonna be so much fun! Hey, Scarlatl. Okay, I don't like that the music is fading. I thought it was supposed to be happy fun time because Sayori's back and everybody else is back. Um, I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything, but the truth is, I already knew you were going to. <laughs> There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica... That's right. I know everything she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now, but I really know everything, Scarlatl. <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. And you made me the happiest girl in the whole world. I can't wait to spend every day like this with you forever and ever. Oh, ruh, eh, v, er, no. Eh, what's happening? I won't let you hurt him. Who? It, it hurts. Ah. I'm sorry. I was wrong. There's no happiness here at all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Scarlatl. Goodbye, Literature Club. Holy shit! Uh, can you hear me? <clears throat> Hi, it's me. Um, so you know how I've been like practicing piano and stuff? And. Not really any good at it yet, like, at all. But I wrote you a song, and I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you because I worked really, really hard on it. So, yeah. Um... Imagine a 
future where I can be with you. In my hand is a pen that'll write a poem of me and you. Being closed down into a dark puddle, just move your hand right the way into his heart. But in this world of infinite choices, what will it take just to find that special day? What will it take just to find that special day? Well then. Have I found everybody upon assignment to do today? Oh! Remove! Oh! Ah! Uh, everything that we do that, is fun for them anyway. Really? Are you going to be. Oh! Um. actual like credits thing so soon whoa this is such a cute song though does my pen only write bitter words for those who are dear to me is it love if I take your is it love if I set you free There they all are. Being closed down into a dark puddle. How can I write? So I didn't apparently this is Monica. Um I didn't realize she would sound like this. What do you call love in your reality? And in your reality, if I don't know how to love you. Oh no, she's deleting everything! This is my final goodbye to the literature club. I finally understand. The literature club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality, a reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish epiphany. For the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all of my dreams come true, for being a friend to all of the club members. And most of all, thank you for being a part of my literature club. With everlasting love, Monica. Script file is missing a crap. Please reinstall the game. And I'm going to check to see if it'll let me restart it or not. I don't think it will, but... Holy shit. Holy shit! Okay, it's trying to restart it. Um... So Sayori ended up remembering what, oh no, it just, it, it comes right back to this. That's crazy. <laughs> Anyhow, um, so I just wanted to talk about this game. Obviously, the warnings were well warranted, and just holy shit. Like, this game actually had me messed up for a good day or so, um, so the warnings about if you have anxiety or depression about playing this game, uh, while I know that I don't have it too bad with that most of the time, um, I could very much see where that could be a problem for someone. I also, um, just, like, even, like, just my anxiety kept me pretty jittery for the next day after that last session that I had. Um, it's been a couple days since then. <laughs> but holy shit and I did like watch some other people's videos just up until the point where I stopped 
recording. Like, I watched uh, Jacksepticeye, I watched PewDiePie, I watched all of those, but I didn't watch past the point where I got to, which was right before you restart the game and say worries back. I... Holy shit. <laughs> Just wow. Um, but uh, what I was saying was there are, there's even more to this game. If you play through it and you have your game files open, not only can you watch the character files being removed, but there are also other files that show up. Um, and I mean, that's, it's not just like, oh, here's a picture. It's like, oh no, here's a text file. Here's this, here's that. Um, I did miss that, which, oops. But I mean, I played this completely blind. So I had no freaking idea what I was doing. Um, there are other ways to beat this game, and I might do a video in the future about that. Um, but I'm gonna have to reinstall the game, which you do have to reinstall the game if you get to this point, I do believe. So I'm gonna have to reinstall the game and, you know, do all that, and I'll probably record it sooner rather than later. But for right now, I just wanted to finish out the game and get to the actual credits, yada yada, blah blah. And that'll just, uh, anything else I do with this game is going to be in a bonus video. If you're very curious, other people for sure have done other things. Just keep in mind, there are a lot of spoiler uh, thumbnails, which if you've gotten to this point in my playthrough, it probably won't matter that much to you at this point. But that's the thing that I noticed. That's why I went with such a simple thumbnail for my videos because a bunch of other ones were just so full of spoilers and could be very triggering and yes I know that word but very triggering could set someone off just from the thumbnail for example Sayori when she died some people have put that in their thumbnails and it's not great um but yeah so this has been Kiarazina Cheetah with Doki Doki Literature Club. This is a gaming experience that I am not going to forget anytime soon. Holy shit. Anyhow, uh, I hope that you enjoyed it and that you'll stick around for more. Bye, guys.